Everything around us will change, from the music we listen to, the clothes we wear, and even the way we do our hair. We change in so many ways, sometimes it's hard to notice the little changes that you can't see from the outside. Anne Bennett was born January 3, 1921, in Bray, Ireland. She was the second oldest of five children, having three sisters and a brother. She was a shy and quiet child who always had the dream of being a nurse. So at the age of 16, Anne left her small town and family to go to nursing school in London. Anne was a hard worker and was almost finished with her schooling when the war hit. Anne soon found herself in the middle of the Second World War, nursing wounded soldiers and civilians at a local hospital. One day, as Anne says, as I left those walls during a midday afternoon, I walked out to black skies. Anne had walked out when German planes were flying over, causing the sky to look back, which was also known as a blitz. Anne was in the hospital bomb shelter during a German raiding when she met Aaron Logan, a quiet and shy American soldier. Aaron and Anne had something special, and every time Aaron was off duty, he had a special pass to go see Anne. Anne and Aaron got married on July 12, 1945, making Anne a war bride. As the war came to an end, Anne was faced with a new challenge, America. She was put on a ship with other war brides to be sent to Ellis Island. As she arrived at Ellis Island, she collected her green card and a train ticket to LA. As she arrived in LA, she found a note saying to catch a bus to Santa Barbara to meet her new family and reunite with her husband, who she hadn't seen in six months. Anne settled down and was soon ready to go back to work. Yet all her schooling documents had been destroyed during the war meaning she would have to start school all over again to ever be a nurse. Instead of ever being recognized as a nurse, she became an aide, lowering her status at the hospital. Anne had a hard task at hand, learning American culture. She soon started to try American cooking. One night, she decided to cook her husband sauerkraut and wieners, which was something he craved during the war. She went to work cooking it up, yet when she opened up the bottle of sauerkraut, she found it was rotten. She felt bad for only having wieners for her husband, yet she explained to him the whole ideal. Aaron laughed at his wife since that was the way sauerkraut was supposed to be. Anne never did master the art of cooking, unless you were talking about box mac and cheese. Anne later found peace at the Sonoma County shoreline, since it reminded her of all those years she lived in Ireland. Anne never did become a citizen of America, as she was proud to be Irish and wanted to stay that way. Someone can change for many reasons, but there are still pieces of them that stay the same. As we move through life, you must stop and notice how fast things change, because otherwise it will be too late. Anne gave me part of her when she died, that I will carry with me everywhere, because some parts of us never change. I will never